people have a stigmatism thinking that all fish has been poisoned by the red tide, which is not true. Tim Knockman owns Knockman Seafood and Smokehouse in Reddington Shores. He sells seafood to restaurants in the Tampa Bay area, which has been hit hard by red tide. The way red tide affects us, it doesn't affect us as far as the fish coming in because the fishermen go way offshore where the red tide is not. People in Pinellas County have watched as 1,500 tons of dead fish and debris have washed up, so it's easy to understand why they may be hesitant to eat seafood. But the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission says some of those fears are misplaced. Shellfish bought at seafood markets or served up at restaurants are monitored by the government for safety and tested for red tide toxins. And while toxins can accumulate in the guts of fin fish, FWC says those parts are tossed out when the fish gets filleted and before you'd find it on your plate. In cases where the fish is exposed to large amounts of the red tide toxin, brevet toxin, most of the time these fish are paralyzed and uh, die of suffocation, unfortunately. Fish that is caught live and uh, is caught in uh, areas of the water that are thought to be safe if it's probably cooked and prepared and the fish was alive and appeared healthy, I don't think that there's any reason to believe that there will be any harmful impact uh, to humans upon ingestion. Bottom line, there are procedures in place to make sure the food you eat is safe. And now for seafood markets and fishermen, catching the fish isn't the problem. The challenge is now making people comfortable enough to eat them. The market is a communication thing. We've tried real hard on our social media platforms to make it clear that how far we catch our fish offshore has no effect in, in the red tide issues. You know, even a short trip for our guys during the summer can be, you know, 80 nautical miles off the beach. You know, that's almost from here to Orlando from perspective. Restaurant demand for fresh fish is plummeting. It does impact the restaurants here on the beach because no one wants to go eat fresh fish smelling rotten fish. They've only got four to five days to play with it before it goes bad on them. So they try to order what they need. They don't want to freeze it because then it's not fresh anymore. So, you know, if their business is down, then they don't order as much. As demand drops in restaurants, interest in fishing charters is waning too. Captain George Hastick runs charters in the bay, and he's normally very busy this time of year, but the phones have stopped ringing. This particular flat right here, it was, it was horrible. I've never seen it before like this. About two weeks ago, there was a, the, the red tide was super bad right here, and the bait fish were dying. It, it looked like as if they were in the live well where you got too many baits in a live well and there's not enough oxygen and they were flipping, jumping out of the water and just dying right in front of my face. Recently though, he's seen conditions improve. Now, it's beautiful if you look, you'll see bait actually sparkling and dimpling the top of the water. But with the stigma around red tide, customers still haven't come back. It's really bad for our tourism because you have a tourist that comes in town, he's here, he stays in a condo, he comes and buys a fish to cook there, but he sees all the dead fish flowing by and it has to, it's a whole conversation we have to build just to kind of to prove to them, hey look, it's our fish are okay, you know, the species that we harvest are okay, but it's just bad for everybody when they walk down the beach with dead fish. Wild Seafood at Don's Dock is a Gulf Wild dealer. Gulf Wild is a nonprofit that's run by commercial fishermen, and they've come up with a way for you to know exactly where your fish came from. Every single fish we catch has a tag on it. That's the foremost important part, but that tag tells you where that fish was caught, the captain of the boat, the, cap the name of the boat, and also the species so you can verify. So literally every single fish we catch has its own social security number. While it is safe to eat fish sold at local businesses, these guys agree the stigma may not go away until we see clean waters again. It's really bothersome that, that we, we as a fish house and as, as fishermen and fish force go out of our way to protect our species and take additional conservation measures on ourselves so that we're doing the right thing by the stock but yet other things happen that affect our fish. The bay serves as an estuary for many young fish before they head out to the open ocean. So without clean water, fishermen say they may see less fish offshore in several years due to this red tide.